Well, hello everyone and welcome to Fangirl Friday. Today I have with me Aaron Ryan. Hey Aaron. Hi. I'm Thanks for coming on. Yeah. <laughs> So Erin is a freelance cosmetologist and we actually met, gosh, has it been a couple of months now? It's flying by. It's COVID time. That's what I call it. it like, <laughs> exactly. Flies. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> so you were working, um, my mom was doing a photo shoot for like her website with one of the photographers that, that you contract with. And yes. so that's how we met. And I'll maybe, I don't know. I tagged you in a post that we did where you like, totally did my makeup but like one thing that I really liked about how you did makeup was you it felt like it was still natural awesome I love hearing yes. that that's, I love I feel it like that's the best thing to enhance the natural beauty yeah um I feel like there's a lot of makeup artists out there who like like really heavy and I yeah. can do that yeah but I'd rather it be you yeah, so. exactly. So tell us a little bit about how you got into cosmetology because you've been doing it for a long time. Gosh, it flies by. <laughs> I try not to think about how old I am all the time. So it's, you know, it's like, I'm like, oh, it's only been a few years, but it's been almost, almost 15 years. Wow. Um, so I started cosmetology. I went to beauty school. I did hair, skin, nails, Mm -hmm. and just found out that makeup was like my favorite thing ever yeah um so I started with makeup and I started working at mac and I worked at mac cosmetics for over 10 years it's a long time so, and you yeah, were a manager really too time. weren't you yeah so I did management for them um I managed a few different locations from mm -hmm. New York New Jersey Florida um so it it was awesome experience I learned a lot of people skills mm -hmm. and sanitation and that's just good. Honestly, oh yeah, yeah, really good, especially right now. Uh, exactly. And honestly, overall, just um, like skill set of yeah. makeup. I was okay when I started and I left there feeling like an expert. Yeah. Um, but I also learned how to run a business. So um, awesome. yeah, it was really awesome. And I did like some hair uh, styling on the side, but mm -hmm. I've never been into the color thing. It, that, that's a different art form. Um, but I love like wedding styling. Um, and I've gotten more into that as I got older. Well, but. yeah, because you like styled our hair for, yes. the, for the photo shoot. And I, I mean, yeah. you did a great job, but like, Thank I see you. what you're saying. It is like a different like art form. Yes. You know, it's a lot different. I, what I love about makeup and styling is if you don't like it, I can change it. Yeah. If it, if it's like a hair color, it's right. a little bit more difficult. Yeah. So, um, and I like to see that like instant result where I'm like, okay, do you like that? And they're like, yes, like that versus yeah. like the color. You're like, wait till the end, you know? <laughs> exactly. So, That's true. Yeah. Now I noticed that like you do, you work a lot with those photographers and other photographers. Yeah. So are you mainly doing like special events or weddings or like, what is your main? So it's hard to say what my main thing is. Mm -hmm. Um, I, and I keep expanding, which is yeah. like good and bad. Um, okay. <laughs> I just recently continued my education and I'm going to be doing, uh, facial services, skincare, oh, nice. Nice. um, micro needling, dermaplaning, all the things. Um, but I'm kind of trying to figure out what my favorite thing is. And then mm -hmm. I'll focus I'll keep my current clients, whatever I have them at, but then focus right. more of my services to the thing, uh, like that I love most. Yeah, of course. But makeup and hair are probably my favorite. Um, I've been doing it the longest and I'm really experienced at it. So, um, and you're very good at it. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, yes, I work with a lot of, uh, photographers, uh, two of my favorite photographers that are in the Florida area are Megan DiPiero photography mm -hmm. and Brian Good Press. Um, I work with them quite a bit. And, um, they're awesome. And they're also female owned and Which amazing. Cool. So yeah. I love that also. Um, but they will contract me out for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Um, but I also do a lot of weddings. So mainly during the week I'll do photo shoots, like a Monday to Friday photo shoots. Okay. Um, and then my Saturdays are strictly typically weddings. But you were also telling me too, like you'll travel because there's sometimes that like, in some areas, it just makes sense to like hire you and travel than it does yeah. hiring the, somebody else. Yeah. So I actually am from New Jersey, born and raised. So I get quite a bit of weddings in New Jersey area, mm -hmm. um, New Jersey, New York. Um, and I travel to them one because they know me, know my work. And right. two, it's like, 
I what it's a great time for a vacation for me. So I love exactly. to travel. Um, so on your bucket list, is anybody yeah. that lives in Hawaii? I like to like... go to Bora Bora. I'll do your makeup. There you go. I love um, it. <laughs> no, I love. I done. I just did a wedding in Tennessee recently, Georgia. So I do get hired for quite a bit of different things. Um, mm -hmm. And they, I have travel packages in my wedding options um, oh, or cool. photo shoot options. I used to do uh, photo shoots in Detroit for a little while too, uh, actually when I was younger. Mm -hmm. um, and I would go there like once or twice a month and we would do like hair and makeup, me and a different yes. artist. So it was really fun. That's um, awesome. Yeah. I love so it. I'm, I'm licensed in the state of Florida, but my insurance covers me um, for freelance. So I am able to travel as long as my main salon is within the um Oh, nice. Well, that makes it easier. Let me yeah. share my screen. I want to show, um, I want to show your website, but while I'm doing that, how many, how many eyeshadows do you have or how many ah. lipsticks do you have? That is a pretty <laughs> solid question. Um, I depotted all of mine. So they're in palettes. So I have about six palettes that I work from. But I mean, oh my gosh. Oh, I that makes wanna... it easier though, right? Uh, a lot easier. Yeah, I even depalletted all of my uh, lipsticks also because it, it's just too much to carry everything in bulk. But I mean, over the years, obviously you throw things out over time, but I mean, yeah. I probably have like hundreds of shadows in my kit. And it, I would be surprised, like it doesn't ruin them when you take them out of the container they came in, but I guess there's like a science to it. Yeah. And honestly, the best thing to do is to buy them in the palette form. Like it's kind of a messy process to do it the other way. Yeah. But when I was building my kit, it was the smartest decision for me, but yeah, I definitely recommend palette form. <laughs> That's awesome. So on your website, I saw where, I mean, we talked about this, like special occasions, wedding, but then you also do like themed stuff. Yes. So that's actually me and my boyfriend. I had somebody who backed out last minute um, for a, I was doing this Halloween shoot. I wanted to like set up um, like a theme style shoot. Yeah. And this is actually with Brian Dib Press Photography. She's awesome. Her name's Ashley. And cool. she just wanted to like combine it with me. And this, this, this couple backed out. So I was like, I still really want to do it. I paid for the space. So I made my boyfriend come and he was like, <laughs> not super stoked about it, but it like worked because he was allowed to be angry because the space, yes. it like, <laughs> So he like rocked out as a um angry a model for skeleton. This so it wound up being amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, That's I crazy. offer I do a lot of like some special effects stuff. Um, these are awesome because they give you some before and after options. Yeah. yeah. One thing that I'm really big on is I don't edit my pictures. Um, so you might see like a blurred background every now and then if someone's doing something crazy in the back, but um. I won't edit skin because I think it's super important that your clients see the actual result. Um, yeah. One thing that I recommend when you are looking for a makeup artist, even if it is not me, is really doing trials with people because yes. um, a lot of people airbrush, use Facetune, Face App, all of these different things. And what happens is you go with an expectation of having this amazing airbrush space and right. that's not a realistic option if you have a lot of texture yeah that makes so. sense I like it yeah your so, website yeah. is really nice there's a lot of great Thank pictures you. on here there you yeah, are yeah those, those are, are cool more the spooky stuff um <laughs> but I definitely need to update it I have a lot more um pictures that I've done recently I've been very busy the last few months um so Instagram's another great way um to see my most recent work and okay um, Instagram just really has like everything I do from the day to day, um, right. the website, I probably update every two to three months. Yeah. So you've been, um, and on Instagram, it's at Aaron Ryan, right? Aaron Ryan beauty. Yes. Aaron Ryan beauty. Okay. So and it's the same yeah. for the website, Aaron Ryan beauty. Yes. I, AaronRyanBeauty.com for the website. Mm -hmm. And then my, uh, Instagram's Aaron Ryan beauty. Cool. So you've so, been yeah. owning your own business now for how long? So I made the magical jump right as COVID hit. <laughs> so yes. I had started my company a little bit prior, but I barely, like I was still managing at Mac and I would mm -hmm. kind of sometimes work every now and then. Um, but my, my boyfriend is actually the one who kind of like 
pushed me to make this big jump. And I yeah. just, I loved my job at Mac. Uh, mm -hmm. The retail world is a very hard world. And yeah. after a while, it takes a toll on you unless you want to like relocate. And I had right. found, um, you know, someone I was really happy with and I want to build something with. So I was like, yeah. let me build my career here. Yeah. So um, I took the jump right like in March and wow. quit my job. And then the world like closed. Right. <laughs> So thankfully I saved a lot of money, just like just in case money and, yeah. um, I needed it, but I, you know, I, it, it comes back, everything, you know, goes in a circle it if you does. put effort into it. So yeah. what it did give me a lot of time to do is market. So I was able to do a lot of marketing. I'm so sorry. I don't. That's okay. Who <laughs> is it? Theodore. What's his name? Sorry. This is Theodore. He's my Theodore. fan too. <laughs> sorry. I you. Hey, Hi buddy. baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it did give me a lot of time to market and really start doing some uh, content for my page. Yeah, that's perfect, and, right? Yeah. So it was very scary, but totally, I feel like within six months, I was able to see the consistency of my yes. business, which I always saw at Mac also. It was like a yeah. six month thing. And yeah. um, so that helped me a lot. And I just, I didn't give up. I just kept pushing. And now I've been doing it almost... It's like a year and a half for, you know, yeah. going strong. So, right. That's cool. Uh, and then again, like meeting um, Megan and Jesse at Megan Piero Photography. Mm -hmm. um, they're awesome. I work with them quite a bit. So that was like. Having those like connections, like in any business that we start, just having strategic connections makes a lot of sense, right? Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. It's like for realtors, it's like, you know, attorneys or whatever, yeah. your B2B type stuff. Yeah. Plus I always want to recommend to my clients the best. And, you know, yeah. I have like a handful of options. Um, not everyone is the best at everything, mm -hmm. but like, I know what this person does best or I do best. Exactly. Yeah. Like I, with bridal hair, if someone comes to me and is showing me this amazing look, which is beautiful, yeah. but it's not my specialty. I'm a hundred percent going to recommend you to the best. Yeah. in the area or someone who I know, um, right. just, I don't want you to be upset on your wedding day. No, of course not. That's you know, terrible. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Or even like some things are, um, you know, the Instagram makeup trend that goes around. That's not really my favorite look. I can do it, but if you mm -hmm. keep showing me the same picture of the same artist, I'm normally like, Hey, you know, maybe, maybe. To that artist. <laughs> <laughs> but if not, we'll do a trial and I'll totally, you know, so yeah. it's always awesome. a good thing. Plus you got to support other people, man. It's like, I'm such a big, like what's mine is mine. What's yours is yours. And we can kind of right. build together. Exactly. I mean, that's the thing. You're just not going to be the best at everything. So and you can't yeah. say yes to everyone. And if yeah. like on the flip side, if someone's showing me the same picture of one artist all the time, like I need yeah. to learn from that person, where, right. you know, I'll take their class and pay exactly. for a master class or continuing education and or something. You know. Yeah. But makeup, I've pretty mastered almost all the things, unless it's something new. And then of mm -hmm. course I'm going to practice until I'm, I'm there, but that, I mean, I've been doing makeup for almost 15 years now. So you get it. That's, yeah, yeah, that's something I am really, really um, comfortable and confident in for sure. Yeah, you're so good at it. And I was really <laughs> happy you. to meet you. And I'm really glad that you, um, yeah. my mom's pictures turned out beautiful because oh the God. hair and makeup was great. So that's awesome. You guys were like so much fun to hang out with that day too. So it made my day really easy. <laughs> I'm glad. We, we were just missing the champagne. We should have... I what I happened? Did, you know? I don't know. We dropped the ball on that one. <laughs> next time, next time. <laughs> we had well, LaCroix, so there was some yeah. bubbly. It's like that not the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if people do want to get a hold of you, either they have a special yeah. occasion or they have like one of those themed parties or they have a That's wedding, great. what's the best way to get a hold of you? So honestly, through my website, there's a contact form. Um, okay. My information's also on my website or on Instagram. You can direct message me or it has a link for my website also. Um, so that's probably the easiest way, uh, phone call or text message. I'll, I'll get back to you pretty quick. Okay, cool. And the both, uh, the website is the Aaron Ryan and mm -hmm. then the Instagram is at Aaron Ryan beauty. Yes, that's correct. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for being on Aaron. I really oh appreciate it. Thanks for having me. This was so much fun. I can't wait fun. to see it. <laughs>